All right, let's see the other type of question I can ask you. This one has a few more steps, and there's something i got to tell you within this example, but it's a good one. Check it out. You'll definitely have to do it more than once. So uh, it's calculating pH, or just the hydronium concentration, from a Ka value. All right, so I've got a real simple example here. We're going to determine the hydronium concentration and pH of a half mole per liter solution of methanoic acid. Okay. Maybe you don't walk around knowing what methanoic acid is, but you do have a data booklet. Go to the acid chart. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. It goes by two names. So formic acid slash methanoic acid. That's its formula. That's its Ka value. Okay, so I've gone ahead and written that down. Okay, so I've, I've also written out the ionization, which you're going to want to do. So just, this is the methanoic acid, throw water at it, and swap out a proton, right? Work down Ka there. So, how are we going to find the H3O concentration? Well, we're going to use Ka and an ice table, because remember, Ka is the HCOO concentration times the H3O concentration divided by the methanoic acid concentration like that. Okay, so we're going to pull it all together. These are great examples that require everything we've learned pretty much. All right, so what do we know? We know that the initial concentration of the methanoic acid was 0.5 moles per liter. These guys always start at zero. We don't care about water. All right. Now here's how you proceed. Whatever the uh, concentration of H3O at the end is, that's what we're trying to find. We'll call that X. Okay. In order to go from zero to X, you have to add X. So the rest of the chart just ends up looking like this. Okay. And then we can say then that this is x, this is x, this is 0.5 minus x, got to equal that. All right? So let's say x times x over 0 0.5 minus x. The Ka value is this guy here. So of course, I'm going to just shuffle this around a little bit, make it look nicer. This is what we got to solve. Okay. Now we saw something similar to this when top and bottom were squared and we could take the square root of both sides, but that's never going to happen because of the ratios in an ionization. So do not just take the square root of both sides. Okay. You could shuffle this around. It's a quadratic. You know how to solve quadratics. But what's interesting is you don't have to in Chem 30. Okay. So don't. I'm going to show you something, and you do need to know this. This is important. All right. If the weak acid concentration divided by Ka for that acid is greater than 1,000, what that means is that the um, change is so small, it still falls within the plus or minus 5% accuracy of Ka. Remember, that was brought up in the previous video. Okay, so this is only good within 5%. And if this value is greater than 1,000, the change is so small that you don't even need to worry about it. So let me write down what you can do. If this value is greater than 1,000, uh, you may assume... that the acid concentration remains constant. Okay? And I'll mention again, this is because it won't affect the plus or five percent uh, accuracy of Ka. Okay, so what you need to do is see if the acid concentration divided by Ka is greater than a thousand. So let's do that. I've got a small amount of room right here. So I'll write this out Hx over Ka equals it was 0 
divided by 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4. Check me out. 2700, closer to 2800. Doesn't really matter. It's greater than 1000. So here's what you can do. You can say that the weak acid concentration remains constant. And this just becomes x squared over 0 0.5 equals 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4. Okay, and that's way easier to solve. Okay, you get 0 0.0095. I'll do scientific here, 9.49 times 10 to the negative 3. Okay, that's what x is. The way we set this up, though, is we called x the hydronium concentration. Okay, so by doing all that, we just found out that the hydronium concentration in this sample of methanoic acid is 9.49 millimoles per liter. Okay. I believe the question also asked for pH. It did. Okay, so I'm going to go over the steps and then we'll find the pH because this looks like a lot of stuff. So, start with the ionization. You have to fill up an ice table. The ice table is always really simple though. Okay. Um, the Ka expression ends up being x squared divided by the acid concentration, which we say remains constant because this value is greater than a thousand. Okay, so I am going to have questions. You never have to use the quadratic formula, but you do have to determine if this is or is not true. So I'll have a question where it's um, one of the options, A, B, C, or D, will be you need to use the quadratic. And if you do this calculation and you get less than a thousand, then you have to use a quadratic. So by that, you know, you have to solve a quadratic equation. To solve the problem, which you never have to do, you never have to work that out, but you do need to know when you would have to. Hey guys, I didn't make the curriculum, I think it's kind of weird, but there it is. Okay, so here's the HVO concentration, pH is no big deal, we'll just do negative log of that. Okay, I get 2.02. .02. 